Uh, there's some great questions here, Liz. Oh, um, I'm scared now. Don't be scared. Um, this comes from Anna. Hello, Anna, who is in Primary 7 at St Mary's Primary in Hamilton. She says... Hi, uh, Anna. Liz, why did... You, two questions, actually. You're getting in with two. Um, why did you become an author? And is poetry a hobby for you, or do you do it for a job? Um, I don't know. It's not a hobby, but it's not a job either. It's a life. You know, it's, it's, um, it's what I do. Um, I feel rotten if I've not written anything for a long time. It's just a way of getting through my life, is to... Um, a, is to try and write things. And when I'm not writing something, I feel pretty bad indeed, you know? So you just have to do it? Yeah, might as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, thank you very much for that. And from the same school, I think this might be from Olivia, uh, what is your most favourite subject to write about? And I think this is Olivia in with a double question. They're cheeky, this lot. Mm -hmm. um, do you write some of your poems about your own experiences? Um, I think... Every writer writes about experience. What else could you write about? Um, and I think that's true of science fiction writers. You know, they're writing about their own real experiences. Of course, they're not, the incidents, what I'm trying to say to you is the incidents that happen, you know, are absolutely not what happened. What about the um, one we heard there, Mary in the bus and your pal, was that? That's a true story, right. in a way. Although there's a few lies in it. I didn't actually see her on the bus with her husband, although I heard she'd got married. Right. You know, um, but yes, that's probably as near as it got to a, you know, a real incident. And there's a couple of them that are quite personal in that way. Um, but they're all got, they've all got to be true in um, emotion and in what you've noticed about the world. And I think that's true. You know, when Alistair Gray wrote a big a thing called Lanark, which is a, you know, a fantastic thing, it's also um, a picture about his own journey mm -hmm. through life. You know, um, what else can you write about except your experience? Thank you very much. And we have this from Declan and Matthew. What got you interested in poetry? And I'm wondering if Burns was a, a, a poem. factor there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To a mouse. And uh, also, I really loved um, the border ballads because, you know, they're, they're, the best poet in the world actually isn't a known or he isn't even Shakespeare or Burns. The best poet in the world's a known. And she was a woman. No, um, <laughs> no a known. You know, um, uh, you know, these poems that, that people learned by saying out loud, I loved them, you know. Whenever I heard when I was about your age, last night as I was by my lane, I heard Twa Corby's mackin' a mane. The tain and to the tether did say, where shall we gang and dine the day? And it was a story about a murder and a, you know, something that could have been in their red top tabloid. Um, I liked that and I loved John Keats when he wrote as if he was a non, and did um, La Belle Dame Song Merci, which is probably my, my favourite poem ever. It'd be my Desert Island poem, a poem that's a story about getting taken away by the fairies. <laughs> Another great narrative poem. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic, thank you. Uh, this comes from St Columbus High School, Class 1 uh, in Dunfermline. Hello there. And this is from Lewis, who says, would you like to see, now this is interesting because you were talking about Tam O'Shanter and how difficult that would be to make into a film because what would you do with the words, but would you, Liz Lochhead, like to see one of your poems turned into a graphic story? And if so, which one and why? I haven't thought about it. Uh, oh gosh, it's a great, that's it's a, a great question. Very good question. Uh -huh. And it does link up so much with that Tam O'Shanter thing. See, if I stick to the Tam O'Shanter question, you know, you could absolutely make a a fantastic cartoon of Tam O'Shanter, but then the words would be superfluous because, you know, and the words are the fun. So um, it's the same with me. I try and put all the pictures into my words, mm -hmm. but I would love to see what somebody else did. And uh, I haven't thought about that, but I suppose what I would like to see if it happened, I would like the words to disappear, you know, the words to have gone into the imagination of the person making the graphic novel. I'll give you a challenge. Somebody could maybe do it, um, do a choosing, you know, as a, a, a graphic novel. Yeah, well, there you go. You could. It could be somebody's art project. That would be good fun. That would be um, good. Yes, I mean, sometimes I've seen some fantastic um, things that people have done 
Um, somebody made um, great uh, visual resources to go with a poem of mine called Revelation, and they let me see it. It was a terrific English teacher that was good on the internet at making, and uh, there was lots of wonderful images that coincided with the words. And I thought it would be quite good to do the poem out loud with it. But then I realised that you would want the poem to be done out loud, but you'd want the poem to be done out loud by the person reading it. Yeah. Them to put the words back. I don't know, but what a great thought. It is a good thought. We're mm -hmm. running out of time. I'd like Sorry to say hi that. to P7 and P6 in Tarbert Academy who asked a question which you've already answered really about the first poem you wrote and could we hear yep. that? So good question. Thank you very much. Just finally, very quickly, if you can answer this from Rachel Ruth Torns. She said, I'm a massive fan of the play Mary Queen of Scots Got a Head Chopped Off. How significant do you think history is to the creation and enjoyment of Scottish literature? Big question, short time to wow. answer it. Um, <laughs> our history is very important to us because how do we know who we are if we don't know who we've been in the past? Um, I would like to write more things based on Scottish history. Um, uh, I'm sh ashamed of myself that I've only really done Mary Queen of Scots got her head chopped off. But I was picking a particularly great story because everybody loves a story about a tragic woman, a beautiful woman getting her head chopped off. Everybody loves that. No wonder they've made so many operas or, and, <laughs> you know, films and, and terrible stories. And I suppose it comes back to storytelling. If story you look telling. for stories, you've well, got Well, history's his got great stories. Yeah, that's a great question because I take that as more than a question. I take that as a message to me. Find a good historical story, Liz, and go on with it. So I've taken that not as a question, but as a challenge. So thanks for that. They used to do that and somebody else used to do a graphic, a graphic story as well based on your work.